I am Dr. Franklin Yao with Vanguard Vascular and Vein. In this short video, we will be discussing carotid artery disease treatment. We will discuss the causes of carotid artery disease, symptoms and complications, how we diagnose it, and what available treatments we have to treat it. Thank you for tuning in. I will have answers to all your questions coming right up. Let's start by discussing the causes of vascular disease that leads to carotid artery disease. There are five main risk factors that lead to vascular disease. Diabetes, high cholesterol, tobacco use, high blood pressure, and a family history of vascular disease. Four of these five risk factors can be managed and modified so that you can decrease your risk of vascular disease. By decreasing your hemoglobin A1C, your LDL cholesterol, your tobacco use, and your blood pressure by diet, exercise, and lifestyle changes, you can decrease your risk of developing vascular disease, you can slow down the progression of vascular disease if you have it, and you can decrease your incidence of complications from vascular disease. Uncontrolled diabetes, high cholesterol, smoking, and high blood pressure damages the inner lining of the carotid arteries. The body responds to this damage by inducing plaque buildup on the inside of the artery. This plaque buildup over time is what leads directly to strokes. When significant plaque builds up in the carotid arteries, the risk of stroke increases. The acronym to help you recognize if a person is having a stroke is F-A-S-T, or FAST. The F stands for facial droop. Does one side of the face droop or is numb? Ask the person to smile. The A stands for arm weakness. Is one arm weak or numb? Ask the person to lift both arms above their head and see if one arm drifts downward. S stands for speech difficulty. Is the speech slurred? Are they unable to speak? Is it difficult to understand what they're saying? Have the person repeat a simple sentence. And T stands for time to call 911. If a person has these symptoms, even if they improve, don't wait, call 911 right away so they can be evaluated at a hospital immediately. Time is of the essence. The best treatment is to treat the plaque before the stroke occurs. The first step is to determine the severity of the plaque buildup using an ultrasound performed in the office. The severity of the blockage will determine the optimal strategy for stroke prevention. For mild blockages, Medical therapy with aspirin, Plavix, and a statin is sufficient to prevent a stroke. For severe blockages, however, medical therapy alone is insufficient and surgical intervention will be necessary. A surgical intervention involves either the traditional surgical removal of the plaque or a more advanced technique with insertion of a stent using a small incision. The stent procedure is called TCAR or the transcarotid artery revascularization using the Silk Road device. A small incision is made at the bottom of the neck and a small catheter is inserted into the carotid artery. The blood flow is temporarily reversed in the carotid artery, which prevents strokes during the procedure. Balloon antiplasty is performed and a stent is inserted. Because a small incision is made, the recovery is quick and the patient is able to return to normal activity right away. Carotid artery disease is becoming more common among our patients and can lead to strokes which can decrease a patient's ability to care for themselves and can also shorten your life. Therapeutic interventions by a board-certified vascular surgeon who specializes in carotid artery disease can help you live better and live longer with vascular disease. I hope that this video has been educational about carotid artery disease. Thank you for tuning in. Best of luck.